Hi guys, I'm going to try a 3D printed catapult, Da Vinci catapult, I think he calls it, designed by Brian Brocken. Uh, he's Brybro12 on Thingiverse, but he's got a YouTube channel as well, so there'll be links in the video description to uh, this and Back in, well, almost a year ago, last March, I did his wind-up clockwork uh, car. And I didn't do it very well. Um, I printed it wrong. It still worked, but it didn't work as well as it probably could have done. And Brian's just recently commented on that video, congratulating me on having a go. So he's very polite about it. Um, and that prompted me to have another look at his channel and see what else I could do. So this is what we're going to have a look at, the um, catapult. I'm going to see if I can do it without reading the instructions. I've looked at the video and I think I can work it out. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. Oh, ten pieces. So we ought to be all right. I can get them out. I could probably use cutters, but I think we'll be all right with the knife. If I don't cut myself in front of the camera. Cutting onto the cutting board is probably a good idea. Instead of struggling. Ah, oh, well. I won't try and explain it. We'll just see if I can get it together. I do need some string. I'm hoping I can get away with some kite string. It's a little bit awkward to cut. Okay. I was just gonna cut some of that off thinking it was support structure, but I think it's supposed to be there, so. I won't cut that off. I'm trying to remember to cut away from myself because we're on YouTube. Oh, I don't know, that may not have cut right. Yeah, those have got key shape to them and I was just about to cut that off thinking it was support structure but I think it's supposed to be there. Okay. I've actually had problems printing, nothing to do with the design, I've just had problems with my printer, somehow got out of, out of adjustment. So I was quite pleased to actually get this to print. And I've also, in the same session, been reprinting the car again, so I can have another go at that. Did I say that at the beginning? I can't remember. When you do this sort of thing on YouTube and you're cutting, you're well aware that somebody's going to say you should always cut away from yourself. And when, which is quite right. But you try remembering to do that when you're doing it on YouTube, on your video. That bit goes in there, one way or the other. 
We'll sort that out when we come to it. I've got the camera upside down again, so I've got to keep remembering to check that I'm actually in camera shot when I'm doing this. Obviously that's what the blue thing's there for, to try and remind me to keep the what I'm working on in the right area. I know what I didn't do, I didn't lock off the focus. Let's do that now. Right, hopefully, hopefully it will stay in focus. Brian's got some very interesting 3D designs on his channel. Well worth a look. Oh, the design of this, I didn't mention. This is supposed to be what you can stick into an envelope and send somebody. Greeting cards, shape, size. I printed it using PLA because that's what I always print with. And he does say in his design that it should work with PLA. See what I mean about trying to remember to cut away from yourself when you're videoing? Right, that's all the cutting out done. It probably matters which way is front and back. Well, that's gone in nicely. Probably don't want to put them on yet because you've got to get the that bit through the middle. Ah, right, now you've got to remember to get this the right way. That's going to go on there. One way or the other. Well, I think I do have to trim those bits off. Yep, they are just going to sit in there, so I was panicking. We'll find out if I got it wrong. That's where the lever goes. But does it go on 
inside or that way. So that's going to hold that. That's the ratchet effect. I might have to go and have a look at his video. Might. That's going to sit on there. Oh, one of those bits that I've just sort of lost. <laughs> goes through there I can see now to hold it in place right what have I done with that <laughs> oh dear we'll have a look in a minute I've no doubt I could use any of these little bits just to go in there Not exactly the right size, but if I can't find the right piece, they'll stop it coming loose. Is there any difference? One side's longer than the other. Yes, one side is longer than the other. Think about this. I'm not going to force that for now. Looks to me like that needs to be the other way around. Yeah, that makes sense. That hole up the middle can't see but there's a hole in the middle there string goes through that and so it goes round there through there round there and as you wind it up whichever way you're going to do it that tensions it by pulling them together and then releases So that has got to go this way around. Yep, that makes sense. Looking good so far.
Okay, well, that's the basic assembly done. Now I need to string it up. So, I'll just show you that. You'd start off with it. Where are we? So we can see it in that position. That winds it up. Which at the same time will be pulling those in. And then you have a bit of string to pull that out of the way. And that flies round. I'll go and look for some string. Well, annoyingly, I can't find my kite string. It's probably upstairs tucked away. So we'll use this garden twine. Right, okay, what sort of a knot do we want on here? Probably one of those sort. Trying to work out how tight it needs to be. Or did we need to wrap it round a few times? Uh, shouldn't do, it should just be doing that. Ah. Right, that's not going to be strong enough. Okay, I'll have to go and look for my proper kite string. Right, I've watched his video and I was right, I do need to put a couple of turns round there. In fact, I think he puts three turns round on either side. You'll see what I mean when I do it. And I also found on the floor a bit of plastic that I'd lost which goes through the base there to hold that in place. But I think the bits I put in, oh, I haven't said that, that one's fallen out. Okay, we'll see if we can put the proper bit in. Could do with a pair of pliers to do that. Right, so that's in properly now. Get back to trying to do the line. I will have another go, well, I will have a go with this kite string, which is strong stuff. I'm just gonna burn the end of that to stop it fraying. Work out which way round it's gonna go from there. Just round three times. One, two, three. Is that the wrong way? I 
might have to go and watch the video again, see which way round he did it. It's got to be the wrong way. It's got to be the wrong way. Three. And that's going to tie onto that one. If it goes around, that will tighten up. Yeah, okay, that looks right. And this one. Why don't you put that back in there? One, two, three. Okay. Now the fun will be trying to tie that off. a bit more slack. Sure, I made that look harder than it really was. And you can't see anyway because I'm not doing it in close up, so why am I worrying? I will say he made it look a lot easier on his video. <laughs> no, I got that wrong. That one's right, but the other one's wrong. If you're watching this, Brian, seeing the mess I'm making of it. <laughs> so there we go, one more turn around there. We will loosen that off a bit. One, loosen. Right, one more turn. One, two. I don't know if it's really matter if we give it two more turns, to be honest.
Majora 1, c'est un Woodlock. Hold that for a second. If we're going that way, that tightens it up. Yes, that's better. And this one, likewise, we want one. For a second, check the principle. Yeah, that's the right direction. It's no excuse, but I got super glue over my fingers at the moment, so they're not <laughs> they're not gripping very well. So I think they're on there. Right. Tightened it up too much. I think we're all right. And then when you flick that out, we'll have a bit of string on it in a minute. Good. That's a tight fit. Right. Okay, we've made progress. Give that an extra loop.
Right, principles there. tempting to hit these with a hammer to make them go home. Right, can we do any sort of distance? Right, we'll give it a try. For a projectile, I'm using a little bit of blue tack because if that hits the windows, it's not going to break them. He says, hopefully, it's soft. So. Okay. Press that one there, and I'll go all the way down there in the line of fire and pull the trigger. I have no idea how high that went. Well, I think I can see a mark up on the window. There seriously is no hope of seeing it, but here we go. Oh, <laughs> it literally hit me on the head. Wow. That's quite a shock because I didn't see it coming. It's too small, but it did just hit me. So range wise, I was sitting on the floor there with my back against the door. The door to the archway there is five metres. So, yeah, about six, maybe seven metres range we got there. That's not bad. And considering I was sitting straight in line and <laughs> it hit me on the head, yeah, accurate too. Just in case you didn't notice what I'd done, I'd actually stuck it to the ground with blue tack so it didn't rock about or anything. There's nothing to stop it sliding along otherwise when you're trying to pull this from a distance. But yeah, brilliant, Brian. <laughs> Total success. Just a thought. I suppose I ought to mention that being as you're pulling it in that direction and it's firing in that direction, so you are in the firing line, 
That is potentially a bit of a design flaw. I don't think I've assembled it backwards. I can't see any way that you can assemble it the opposite way round, so it tensions in the opposite direction. No, because if you do it that way, you'd need that over there. No, it's still going to come towards you. Yeah, hmm. Yes, bit of a bit of an issue that if you're going to build one of these and launch it, either use eye protect eye shields or make sure you're well out of the way. Hmm. Okay. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.